Hey everybody, welcome back to the Arm Scotsman. Today in the table, we're just going to do a quick comparison with the SP5 compared to the SP5K. Let's get this one going. All right, folks, as I said, we're just gonna do a quick comparison of the guns. We're gonna go over the features of this real quickly and we'll jump on to the SP5K. So the numbers that I give you is uh, excluding added accessories, it's unloaded and it's excluding, now this is SBR, actually both of them are SBR, uh, excluding butt stocks and things like that. So when I give you the weights or, or the lengths, that's what I'm referring to, okay? So at the back here though, I will give you the information because somebody will ask me. So this is the German A3 stock remember correctly it's been a long time since i bought it um it's a retractable stock as you can see locks in place nice rubber butt pad um it's not the most comfortable because we know if you want to get down on there you're leaning your chin on the bars i do have the fixed stock for these two which is a lot more comfortable but it's not as easy to uh, take places if i want to pack this or something but it does uh, that's what i have on here so the overall length from here to here is just shy of 18 inches. Uh, moving along, you do have your iron sights right here. Now I did upgrade this one to the drum sight over the castle sight that came with it, but that's just a personal thing. Um, so the this B, this is a B&T claw mount, does not come with it obviously, nor does the T2. So moving down, I actually changed out this lower uh, and the trigger in here. Uh, actually on both of these guns, the triggers are Timney triggers. The original triggers are, they're kind of a heavy long pull, didn't love it. I mean, the function just fine. There's, I mean, so there's no need to really change it if you don't want to. I just wanted a nicer trigger. So I put the Timneys in here. We are unloaded. Um, but let's give you just a really quick show of this Timney trigger. Um, so you got a two stage, first stage, like two pound pull up, nice break. And then your reset, little let out, positive and tactile. Much better triggers than the OEMs. Um, so if you know these will come with a standard 30 round mag if your state allows it um, You can buy yeah, there's there's off brands of these mags. These are kind of expensive They're made in Germany by H&K. You're looking 60 70 bucks They do have offshoots for like MKE and I think they're like th you can buy them sometimes for like 30 35 bucks I run them as well and I've had no problems with them um, But yeah, okay So some of the drawbacks to H and K, the SP5 and SP5K. These are old. These guns are designs are what 50? No, they're longer than that. Maybe 60 years old. Something like some 56 years or something, something like that. They're old. Um, now, don't get me wrong. They're still freaking excellent. But they do have some drawbacks, right? One is there is no last round bolt hold open. So, for example, if I pull the charging handle back and just let it go, it doesn't lock back on an empty mag, right? So if if I'm shooting click and I'm like oh I have to look over and then bolt still closed pull the charging handle back and you can visually see that you know the gun is empty get a new mag put it in hitch and case slap you're good to go so that does take a little longer than some of the more modern guns obviously that do have the last round bolt hold them where you just pull it out put a new one in let it go so there's just a couple of extra steps on this just be aware of that if you are looking to buy one but you can get pretty quick um, if you train so the barrel in here is a uh, just shy of a nine inch cold hammer forged barrel has all the german markings on it and things like that this handguard is obviously upgraded um, as well. We do have a vertical foregrip only because it's SBR and a um, Surefire Mini Scout Light. So yeah, so the, yeah, could have a forged barrel in there. This gun has been excellent. It's been really accurate for me. Um, so very nice. For, no complaints uh, at all. Um, you do have a tri-lug adapter here with a threaded um, tri-lug adapter for your suppressor or a threaded thread, threaded barrel to attach your suppressor um, if you want to do it that way. I actually run the tri-lug adapter. I find that more intuitive. It's easy to take on and off and it sits really close here and it looks really cool. And that's what we all know what's about, right? Looking cool. Um, overall, this is a heavier gun than the SP5K. You know, again, without all the stuff on it, you're looking at maybe just about a pound, a pound and a half heavier. Doesn't sound like a lot, but it really translates um, when you shoot this. It's an incredibly smooth shooting gun. Um, it has that roller delayed system in here. 
it's just a phenomenal gun to shoot one of my favorite guns of all time and i have reviewed and shot a lot i still love this gun even with it being such an old design okay moving to the sp5 k now i'm a little cheeky because this is not an sp5k this is an ap5p um so they're basically identical guns the only thing is this one is made on hk equipment in uh, Turkey um, so the, uh, the the big thing you're probably going to lose out on is not having that H&K uh, QC um, or whatever so other than that these are identical guns again this one is SBR so we do have a, a foldable stock on here and you can see even with the magazine out, that is a compact little package very easy uh, to conceal or whatever so anyway overall length from here to here is going to come in about 13 inches so you know you're talking about a five inch difference um, from the sp5 and again that's what gives us more of a concealable factor for you but that does come with some slight drawbacks which we'll talk about in a minute everything else is pretty much the same on here as i say um, the trigger that it would come with is again a stock oem trigger that comes with the sp5 that long heavy pull i have a timmy trigger in here so there's no point in going over it again you know they, they have the the push button release right here for mag release same on the sp5 and you have the paddle release right here again same on the sp5 you do have these slots in here so you'll notice on that one i had the retractable uh, stock which would go in here so you can put a retractable stock on this one also not all parts are interchangeable so stocks um you, you can't use the same stocks how they attach is different between the sp5k and the sp5 um, and, and all the sp5k parts should fit on here without any issues but there is just a couple of parts that are not interchangeable most parts are some are not um and here we have a four and a half inch cold hammer forged barrel so again you know you're talking almost half the size of the barrel of the sp5 and what comes with that shorter barrel comes with a shorter length of pull charging handle right here so when you pull this back it's a lot shorter um, but one of the things is the claw mount like you saw on that one see the claw mount parts are right here and here i had a full size claw mount on here and when i would pull this charging handle back i was ripping my knuckles on the claw mount so i found this just this one one i was gonna say one stage but one point of contact or, two, or there's actually two because one on the other side but this this claw mount right here it's not a full size small stuck a little hollow sun on here since i did that not ripping my knuckles anymore so very nice um really uh, recommend this if you're looking at the sp5k or ap5p or any other clones out there um, we do have a vertical foregrip on here again this is sbr this is what i've thrown on it typically it will come with this th just think about this cutoff and that's what it would come with it has a little hand stop there which would be nice you know when you grip it you're not going to put your hand forward in front of that barrel or suppress it suppress around whatever you've got in here same again trilog adapter threaded barrel so again they're almost identical you know guns and just just the, sh the sheer size is just smaller right pretty much is some of the, the way to look at it so shooting difference there is a little bit of a difference the sp5 being a little heavier a uh, bigger gun not surprisingly is a smoother shooter and it is a smooth shooter um, and the sp5k or ap5p is um, still a great gun to shoot it's still a lot of fun it's just not as smooth shooting as the sp5 both have the ruler delayed system in there um yeah so they're just they're really really fantastic guns i really love them so yeah so if you're looking for the best shooting experience sp5 and if you're looking for still a good shooting experience but you're looking for more of a compact package sp5k Anyway, all right, folks, that's it from me. Give me your thoughts. Which one you like pressed? Do you prefer the SP5 or the um, SP5K, <clears throat> AP5P? Um, let me know. What's your thoughts? Um, for me, I don't know. Uh, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> I love both of them. Um, I think the, this is just being the OG uh, SP5, MP5 seen in the movies all growing up. I think I'd probably still choose my SP5. But the, M uh, the uh, SP5K, AP5P, uh, is no slouch so anyway that's it folks any questions any comments please ask below happy to help out wherever i can until next time we'll catch you later